I'm going to show you how to start a YouTube channel step by step. So let's dive in. And before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you'll never miss one of my videos. Now, before we really get started setting up this channel, there's a couple of things you have to set up first. One, you need a Gmail account. It's simple to set up. If you don't have one, check out a video on how to get that done. Get a, a Gmail account, come right back. The other thing you need, you need a strategy. You wanna know who you are, who your audience is, and how you're gonna help them. And this is all gonna start with research. Now I'm assuming you've already done that and you're ready to dive in and just set up the channel. Now, if you have no strategy at all, that's something I could probably help with. Just leave me a comment below and let me know um, if you need help with the strategy and I may do a video about that. Now, once you have your Gmail account, go ahead, uh, log into YouTube. Once you log into YouTube, you're gonna land on a home screen that looks something like this. Once you do that, click on the icon in the upper right hand corner. You're gonna see a drop down. From that point, let's click on create channel. So this is where the journey begins. So the next thing you do, click get started. Now you're gonna choose how you're gonna create your channel. You've got two options here. You can use the information that you had when you set up the Gmail account. That's great if you're setting up maybe like a personal channel because it's gonna use your name and picture on your Google account. But if you're doing, say, a brand, which probably most of you are, or you have a local business, you're gonna use a custom name um, because that, again, that's gonna represent your brand and you can customize it in other ways. So let's go ahead and select use a custom name. Okay, now we're gonna create your channel name. Now this is going to be how people recognize your brand across YouTube. I always recommend that you use your company name or whatever your brand is. Use that type of name. Don't try to keyword stuff. Use the same name that you use on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, um, all across the social media platforms because you want your brand to be consistent across all social media networks. So once you choose a brand name, go ahead and click I understand. If you wanna learn more about those, you can click learn more, but then you just click create account. Now that you've set up your account, let's go ahead and upload our profile photo. Your profile photo should be 800 by 800 pixels. And there's a number of different free programs out there that you can use to make sure you have the right size. One of those is Canva, uh, Stencil. Those are probably my two favorite apps that I use. Once you've chosen your photo, just click on upload picture and it'll walk you through those steps. Now, after you've uploaded your profile artwork, Wherever you are, you want to hit the logo or your logo in the top right hand corner. This is how you're going to get around your channel to do different things. Let's start by clicking your channel. Now we're going to customize the channel. And the first thing we're going to work on is the channel artwork. For the channel artwork or your YouTube banner, you want something that's eye-catching and can quickly let people know what to expect from your channel when they see it. The other thing you want to make sure of is that it can be clearly seen on mobile, on desktop, and on laptops. And there's a few programs that you can use. One of my favorites to do this is called Canva. It's absolutely free. Once you go to Canva, in the search bar, you can type in YouTube, and you can see, I just started typing YouTube, and channel art comes up. It tells you the dimensions. You can start with a blank screen, or you can start with some of the uh, suggestions that they have. 
To make this pretty a pretty quick demo, I'm going to go ahead and use one of the templates that they have. Now they've got a ton of templates on here. You can start with something blank or you can use your own. I just put my name in there. Um, you can, you know, just play around with it. But one of the great things I like about this is that it does give you the exact dimensions so you don't have to uh, mess around with that too much. I'm gonna just use this one just for demo purposes. So let me download this. Okay, I've just downloaded that artwork. Now to add it to my channel, just click add. And you can either drag the photo here or you can click select a photo from your computer and you can go find it. I'm just gonna drag that artwork right here. Now once you've uploaded the artwork, it's gonna look different on mobile, desktop, and television. So just take a quick look Make sure that you can see if you have some type in there. Make sure you can see that on mobile, especially since most people will be using that. Once you've got this looking how you want it to look, just hit select and it's going to save that. So now I've got my banner. Okay, now that we've got our banner set up and it looks just like we want it to look, we're gonna continue customizing our new YouTube channel. To do that, we're gonna fill out some other information. We're gonna add some links. We're gonna add information to our about section and a few other things to customize the channel. So let's get started. To do this, hover over your banner. You're gonna see this pencil icon. Click on that. Also, just remember you can go back anytime and edit that channel art. Maybe you don't like it, or you can also change it with the seasons. You're not committed to that forever. So I'd recommend, you know, updating that maybe, you know, quarterly even. Also, you can uh, edit links. So we'll click edit links. Let's start with a, adding a few custom links. Your custom links are gonna be places that you wanna connect with your viewers outside of YouTube. I would recommend your most popular channels, um, social media like Instagram, Facebook. If you got a Facebook group and you wanna connect with people, put your Facebook group there and also put your website URL if you have a website. You can add up to five different custom links I'm gonna add two just to give you a quick idea of how to do this. The first thing you wanna do is give this a title. So I'm gonna start with, I'll put website. Type in that URL. Put Instagram. You wanna make sure that you have a title here on both of those and you have the correct URL. Once you do that, hit done. And you can see you've got custom links there. Once we go back to the home screen, you'll be able to see those. Now you can see the links are on the banner and they're also clickable. So this is an excellent way to connect with your audience outside of YouTube, to lead them to your website, other social media channels, even a Facebook group if you have one as well. The next thing we're gonna do is tell people what our channel is about. So we're gonna fill out our about section. There's a couple of different ways that we can do that. We can click this edit icon here, or we can go to about. First thing you wanna do is click on channel description. And this is telling people what they can expect to get on your channel, telling them what types of videos you're gonna be creating, what they can expect to learn or how they're gonna be entertained. I would suggest that you use a few keywords in there as well. You don't wanna keyword stuff, but you want to give um, or incorporate a few keywords in there because it will help you get discovered in other places on YouTube. And also, again, giving people a really uh, clear message of what they can expect when they get to your channel. So go ahead and fill that out. 
After you filled out your channel description, add an email address in here. This is great because as your channel grows, people are gonna wanna connect with you. Maybe asking you questions, getting sponsorship opportunities, partnership opportunities. So you wanna use an email that you're gonna be checking often, but at the same time, it's gonna sometimes, you, it's inevitable you'll get spam. So um, you, don't, you may not wanna use your personal email. I would always use a business email for this. Also add your location, United States. Once you've successfully done all this, filled out your channel description, your email, and your location, and we've got the links on there, hit done. We're almost to the finish line. So the next thing we're gonna do is verify our channel. We're gonna add some channel keywords and a custom subscribe button. And finally, I'm gonna show you how to do a custom YouTube URL. The next step we're gonna take, we're gonna verify our YouTube channel. This is gonna open up different things for us. We can monetize our channel. You can also upload custom thumbnails. So you de this is an, a very important step in this process. I'm gonna leave the short link in the description. All you have to do is click on that link and it's gonna take you here, youtube.com forward slash verify. Select your country. Once you've verified your country, they're gonna send you a code to verify. Choose which way you'd like to get that code. They can either call you or text you. Hit text. Put your phone number in there and then hit submit and it's that simple. The next thing we're gonna do is add channel keywords. To do this, let's go to YouTube Studio. Once you're in YouTube Studio, scroll down to settings. These are some other settings you wanna make sure are set up correctly for your channel so that they're correct once you get to that point. Now, there's certain things that have to be met before you can monetize your channel, but you still wanna make sure that uh, the currency is set to where you want it. When we look at our channel, this is where we're gonna start adding our keywords. Now, the keywords are important because they tell YouTube what type of content your channel is gonna be um, putting out and also maybe like who your target audience is as well. So be wise when you choose those keywords and you don't wanna keyword stuff. So you get the idea here. You wanna use a few keywords in there so that it gives, again, YouTube a general idea of what types of content you're gonna be putting out and also the type of uh, audience you're looking for or who you're targeting. Once you get that done, just hit save. Now the next thing we're gonna do is add a custom subscribe button. I like to do this on all of the channels that I set up because it's really a little watermark. You've probably seen those on a thousand different videos and people can just click on that subscribe button and subscribe to your channel while the video is playing. To do this, we're gonna click on settings, channel, and branding. You can add a watermark, uh, 150 pixels by 150 pixels in ping format or GIF format. Again, you can go back to Canva, create an image. I've already created one to do that. Just click choose image. I've done a few in the past. The one I like the best is this one. And again, you can create this very easily using one of those free programs like Canva. Once you've created it, just click open and you can see right here where that will appear when the video is playing. You can choose to have it display only at the end of the video. You can do it on the entire video or you can add a custom start time. 
Five seconds is typically pretty good, especially once you get to the point where you're running ads, um, or you can start it maybe 10 seconds in. I wouldn't do it at the end of the video. I'm either gonna run it the entire video or I'm gonna choose a custom time. This is a watermark I really wanna have on there for the majority of the video, so again, I can give people the option to click to subscribe once they're watching the videos. After you've done that, just hit save and you're all set. There's a couple of last things I wanna share with you. I didn't verify this channel because it's a demo channel, but I wanna show you what happens once you do verify your channel. Go down to settings, hit channel, and go to feature eligibility. You'll notice that after you verify your phone, um, you're gonna be able to create videos over 15 minutes. You'll be able to do custom thumbnails, live streaming. I mean, there's a lot of different features that you have access to. You can also take a look at the status of those features by clicking this link. And this will show you if you're in violation of anything, if you have any copyright strikes. Um, once you verify your channel, you're gonna see green come on custom thumbnails, external uh, annotations. You can see what you have to do in order to have a custom URL. You have to have at least 100 subscribers. Your account has to be at least 30 days old. You've gotta have an uploaded photo as your channel icon, and you have to have your channel artwork done. So we've done all of that, uh, except for you might not have 30 days on your channel yet, or you might not have 100 subscribers. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on how to do a custom URL, Leave me a comment below and I may do a video about that. So there you have it, how to set up your YouTube channel in 2020. This was a step-by-step -step tutorial. I hope this helped. If it did, let me know. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. I'll be able to answer those questions for you. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'm your marketing lady and I'll see you next time.